Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, we go into our 21st year on the air. And uh, this is a segment I've been looking forward to, been wanting to talk about this subject. Uh, and Ron Wong, as our co-host, has been interested in this uh uh, came out back in uh, middle December about some uh, uh, some Bill Dance signature lakes, and then at the commission meeting about ten days ago or so in Dyersburg, uh, that those signature lakes were brought up again, and in particular a lake that I know when I moved to Memphis in 1967 was one of the first lakes that I fished, and that's Herb Parsons Lake, and so who better to talk about? The Signature Lakes, and then also about the commission, is our good friends uh, Bill and Bill. We are privileged on Outdoors of Larry Ray to have Bill Dance. Good morning, Bill Dance. Double B. Hey, good morning, boys. How in the world are you? We're doing great. And, of course, uh, Bill Cox, our uh, triumphant uh, three-time commissioner who is on for life. I think so. Um, hey, Bill. Good morning, Larry. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, I hope he does too. I, I'm trying to outlast him. Just keep me around, Lord, long enough to outlast Bill Cox. That's what. I, let's talk about this. Uh, and and Bill, let's talk for you first, if Bill doesn't, Cox doesn't mind. Uh, you and Governor Lee has came up with this idea. You guys have tossed it around. Eighteen lakes uh, will be the signature Bill Dance lakes. And I, I'm really uh, interested in the the concept, Bill. And I know it's got to be something. Uh, well, you being an ambassador for the state, it's got to be important to you. Talk about it. Well, you know, Governor Lee, he uh, he's behind this program 100. percent He's yes. an outdoorsman uh, yes. himself, conservationist. And the Bill Dan Signature Lakes, actually, what it is, Larry, is just a new incentive to improve and enhance Tennessee lakes and increase uh, visitation. Yeah. And what TWRA and the state, they're going to invest about $15 million wow. dollars yeah. in improvement of both above and below the water on 18 lakes yeah. Um, yeah. that we are classifying as Bill Dance Signature Lakes. Now, if what, what the governor really wanted to do, and it, it, this might surprise you, Tennessee is home to about a half a million acres of lakes and 1.7 million people who fish. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of people. That's a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Now, the signature lakes, uh, the built-in signature lakes, will touch um, 39 counties. 39 counties. Including, including 22 at risk or economically distressed counties. That's wonderful. Now, that's an important step in helping those communities create new revenue streams. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Through yeah. increased visitation. And that's something that Governor Lee was really, really high on and wanted to do. And so uh, he's behind that. That's one of the reasons he got behind this program, uh, to help these, uh, you know, to help these economically distressed counties and to generate uh, and increase visitation to them. And, so, and uh, well, a lot of, I mean, one point two billion dollars fishing generates in the state economic impact seventy four hundred and eighty right. jobs across the state so the governor really four hundred and eighty jobs yeah seven thousand four hundred and eighty jobs across the state so uh this is just a kickoff uh folks to uh, uh bring things up to date we we got the money to do it and these lakes are, uh, there's 18 of them, as Bill said. There's eight of them in West Tennessee. Uh, Kentucky Lake, the big reservoirs are in there, too. Pickwick, Real Foot, uh, of course, not a reservoir, but Real Foot's in there. Uh, and some of the smaller lakes, which Browns Creek, a great lake. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, I see a Pin Oak Lake. And, of course, uh, Travis McKnight Lake, uh, McNatt Lake, which I love at Big Hill Pond. And then... A part of this is our own 70-year-old Herb Parsons Lake. And, Bill Cox, I mean, yep. you were at the commission meeting. You guys have uh, uh, looked at this, and that, and, and Bill Dance will uh, echo this, but Bill Cox, at the commission meeting, you guys put aside over a million dollars, $2.5 million for Herb Parsons. So talk about that, Bill Cox. Yes, we did. And as Bill mentioned, we uh, 
uh, we've got these these 18 lakes, and in the discussion, Bill Bill suggested and really wanted to put Herb Parsons in the group, and I think it's a great idea. And and uh, went to to the to the director and uh, the guys in tourism, and and we got Herb Parsons added to the list. But Herb Parsons is about 70 years old, and yeah, the facilities yeah. have needed to be renovated, you and got it's that got right. potential to be a great fishery. Yeah, but it needs. Uh, it, it needs a lot of improvement, and you know the vision for this. And a lot of these lakes are on are on state park properties that already have amenities and hotels and that kind of thing. And and some of them are on. We, we've got two. We've got family fishing lakes, and we've got a trophy trail with a big reservoir, so that where where you can put a put a uh, tournament uh, fishing on. But sure, yeah. Her Parsons is right here next to Memphis. It's a heavily used lake, and and part of the vision is to have is to have great parking, ramps, courtesy docks, concessionaires, landscaping, signage, you wow. know, really yeah. make it really fine. And Herb Parsons, uh, it, it, they're going to they're gonna change management on and stocking on the lake and and catfish and, and copper nose, bluegill. Ooh, yes, and yeah, be yeah. A lot of good bank fishing, more piers. Uh, and we're, I think, you know, the budget's two and a half million. I'm hoping we can do it for, for less than that. But, uh, this is something that we, you know, Bill, Bill is, is, has spent his life building a brand yes, he has. for his business and yeah. a reputation. And, and, and he is lending that to the state of Tennessee to brand this, these lakes. And it is a once in a lifetime opportunity it for is. the state of Tennessee with tourism Mm-hmm, TWRA yeah, yeah. and Tennessee Department of Economic Development to to promote and get improved fishing in Tennessee. Well, this is something unique. There won't be another state. No, there in, won't. In no. Anywhere, anywhere no. we, in, the, in the United States that has got what we're going to have. And for it to be successful, we cannot, <laughs> we don't want to throw money at it, but we can't do it uh, scrimping and we got to do it right. Yes. And, and, yeah. And up to bill standards, and it's in the, the state is yeah, the TWRA and the, and the rest of us, the Governor Lee and everybody, so thankful. Yes. Uh, to Bill for what he has offered to do for Tennessee, and it's uh, it, it's it's going to be a fantastic program, and uh. and 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 I think I think people will be happy with what they see at Herb Carson. Just going. It's they're they're gonna really going to spend some money on the on the on the out of the water. Can't wait. Facilities can't. and the guys are going to put feeders and piers and oh, I can't and, wait. And I, I bank see. fishing and it's going to be a it's going to be a place you you can catch a lot of fish and have a. I think I'll a stick great around. Family time out there. I think I'll stick around for that. I was I was looking for an emphasis to make me stick around. You know, me and Dance can stick around <laughs> together on this, and, uh, okay, and we can do that. And Bill, you said. Uh, I noticed you said you were humbled by this. Uh, I mean, I'm going to say right now that uh, we're privileged. Um, there's how many states we got? We got 50 states, right? How many's got Bill Dance? Okay, we got Bill Dance. Okay, that's right. And uh, well, to, thank you. To, and to put your stamp on this, and you mentioned is is only I knew you would say you're you're humbled by this, but excited. So uh, uh, the excitement's there, Bill. So we're wondering. When are we going to get started? I mean, do we have an opportunity? Do we have some deadlines here, or maybe hoping to get going? Maybe this year. Uh, well, they already the, the the agency guys, uh, fisheries guys, have already started. All right. Uh, formulating plans to do to change their stocking, and to change their management and fertilization and feeding on some of the lakes. They haven't. We haven't gotten started just yet, but they're doing some changing that, and and you know this is this is a big project. <laughs> and we don't, yes. we can't, and like I said, we want to do it right, and you can't change a fishery in six months. It's no, 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 this is a try. Yeah, get this all is, these improvements that's done. right. Take, you know, it's going to take a year or two before all sure. this can get, yeah. really get into yeah. uh, movement, but we're, the intention is to do it uh, right and do it for the long term. For when all of us are gone, this is going to still be a fantastic fishery for tennessee and bill dance uh i know this is uh your name's going to be on it so you want it done right i mean uh so uh, your involvement in this bill will you be looking at uh, 
they're letting you uh, put your hands on on this right project. Well, you know, working with with TWRA and Tennessee Tourism, uh, we've got our little team working with TWRA uh, uh, on the lakes themselves, as far as uh, working together on the lakes. Yes. The, yeah. The real key. The real key. Uh, we, we look. We take Herb Parsons. Yeah. We're all familiar with Herb Parsons. Yes. Herb Parsons is the only park lake that is not a park lake. The rest of them, uh, with the exception of Herb Parsons, is not a park lake. That's true. It's a mm-hmm. WMA lake. That's right. A wildlife yeah. management lake. Right. But it's the most fished a WMA lake in the state. Is More it? people fish Herb Parsons than any other WMA in the state. Yes. Yeah. And it's going to be classified more as a family, uh, a family friendly lake. Wow. And okay. We're going to manage it. It does have Florida's in it right now, Florida bass. Yes. But we're going to manage it uh, for big bluegill, trophy sized bluegill, Ooh, and okay. catfish. All and right. We have a way, of, a way of managing that to produce, uh, to produce where people can come and catch fish. Catch fish. That's the key. Yeah, that's it. And, and yeah. still have a good time and have a good fishery, a uh, good management program uh, on these lakes. And um, they'll see things that they've never seen before uh, yeah, in the lakes that uh, the TWRA is working on, as well as uh, our team and uh, Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. They also, so we're, we're all working together on this. The governor, we went up to the governor's uh, bill. That was about three weeks ago we went up there, wasn't it? Yeah, a month, something like that, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we made some, some videos and some announcements on the lake. Yes, you did. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, we have uh, nine of the lakes will be access lakes. Okay. To uh, where uh, uh, they'll go in and improve, uh, as Bill said, new development uh, on selective lakes like uh, the eight large reservoirs where they'll work on the boat ramps to increase accessibility uh, to enhance visitors' experience. Uh, they'll, uh, on the uh, smaller lakes, uh, they'll go in and uh, do not only above but below water uh, improvements. Uh, we'll have a... Uh, a management team that will go in and uh, balance out the predator-prey relationship in the lake. Uh, it'll be checked periodically. The forage base will be, the fish will be fed. The people can be able to come there and catch fish. Uh, you can bring your family and uh, know that when you come there, you'll catch fish. And it hadn't been that way. Uh, no. It hadn't been that way on many lakes in the state. But uh, through the management with TWRA, their know-how, and uh, our team working together, I think we're going to have a uh, – it will increase the habitat management uh, to ensure uh, above-average success, well, way above-average You know, Larry, um, the future of hunting and fishing over the next decade, you know, we are we're, – we're, we're static or losing a few hunters. Yes. yes, uh, yes. We, we increased during the COVID, but for the future, hunting is not where the big gains in outdoors and, and, and funding agencies will be. In my opinion, it'll be fishing. And, and yes. yeah, yeah. Set, no set doubt about it. Up yeah. To, no doubt about it. To be the leader in recruiting and retaining new sportsmen for the outside in fishing. And I think that's, that's uh, selling licenses and funding. There you go. That's the a, conservation that's... efforts with TWRA is the, is the main thing TWRA is interested in. So I think it's it's going to, we do this right, you're going to catch a lot of fish and you're going to enjoy being there. And uh, before we let you go, you're going to catch a lot of people too. I think this will be a, a license boosting thing too, guys. I got to, you, you got to look at that too, that maybe yep. new folks who have never fished before will do it. Uh, Bill Dance, again, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Bill Cox, thank you uh, also for your job with the TWRA and uh, we'll stay in touch and uh, great, th- great job by you yeah. guys y'all have a thank great, you have a great thank day you. thanks hey, thanks for having me. hey thank y'all I appreciate it Larry it's always a pleasure to talk to you right. I appreciate yep. you very All right. much y'all have a great All right. day thank y'all All right, let's take a break All on right. Outdoors with Larry Ray we'll be right back